Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. In this video, I'm going to jump in and I'm going to talk about a topic that doesn't get covered very often through YouTube, and that is the importance of fixed income in a small capacity in the portfolio. This uh, represents a small percentage of my total overall wealth, but I thought it more beneficial to do uh, as opposed to not do. And I'm going to share with you the portfolio makeup, the holdings that make up uh, in M1 Finance, the Vanguard uh, long, short, and intermediate term duration, both on the corporate and the government debt side of the house. I think it's an important addition. Uh, and in a holistic approach, I look to share uh, this small piece to my portfolio with you guys. I'll leave the portfolio in the description as well as in the comment section down below. Kick over, check it out, use it if you'd like. If not, no problem at all. We're looking to share how it is that I seek out my wealth building strategy using multiple accounts. Uh, this is one of three M1 accounts that I use, and this just so happens to be the fixed income element to the portfolio. So let's jump in and see what makes up my fixed income portfolio with M1 Finance. And I thought it would be prudent to come in and update you for uh, transparency's sake. My Vanguard bond ETF portfolio, this is something that I do not do very often. Um, but we have been getting crushed. I probably entered into the bond market at historically the worst time in the last hundred years. So uh, <laughs> where where the stock market can be very, very good uh, and the um, uh, and it can be, you know, not so good. This is one of those not so good times, especially in the bond market. But no problem. We're off a couple hundred dollars in this, and I can live with that. The uh, uh, whole focus of this is to add some fixed income into the portfolio. This is an avenue that uh, a lot of people scoff at, and it's one that a lot of people do not believe in. Uh, and I have uh, come full circle with the importance of having some fixed income in the portfolio. Now, this, relatively speaking, is a very, very low um, aspect of my portfolio. However, in line with my uh, fundamental wealth building philosophy, this works to set up on a $25 schedule every month and fund, and that's what I do. I fund this with about 25 bucks every month or every two weeks, something like that, uh, and it works. And I think over time, it's it's going to build up to something special. Uh, my strategic goal up up through this is to to get to fifty or a hundred grand in this, and I think it's going to be a nice supplement to the portfolio. When I hold a lot of equities uh, on the top end of the portfolio, it'll help kind of balance the bottom end of the portfolio, having those fixed income pieces in place. And and I mean we're one point six percent toward our goal. I mean we're you know we'll we'll get there, and I have no doubt in that. And um, you know, if I can't get there, then I will take this philosophy and I will uh, I will transfer it to the next generation, uh, i.e., my kids, because I think bonds do fit into and have a very important place uh, in a portfolio. They really do help buffer uh, the storm and volatility. They do pay a nice dividend, um, and uh, the dividends are, have been paid here. It's on su such a small amount. The capital depreciation in the bond market has accelerated to the downside to such an extent that there's no way that the dividends could have um, could have matched that or offset those losses, which is totally fine. Um, I look to be in a, in a nice position here to have built this up now while the bond market has been suffering, and I, I'll look for some uh, appreciation to make this up, and we'll chronicle it through the channel as we uh, continue to mature with this portfolio, but um, we've had this less than a year. So <clears throat> just to express to you guys um, how, how new this is and um, how cool it is for me to come on and, and share this idea with you guys. Um, I do share this portfolio openly with the audience and uh, um, we're affiliated with M1 Finance and we can receive a small compensation, but the portfolio uh, is very, very real. And, um, you know, if you ever wanted to add a little bit of fixed income to the portfolio, you could do so. And you can see here, you know, uh, 250, 200, in, in between 150 and 250 on the top end here. That's all uh, for these um, uh, spackling of intermediate, uh, short term, and long term. I do have the extra duration I just went ahead and threw in there as well. Uh, and this portfolio renders over 3% of, uh, of a dividend uh, cumulatively across all of these different holdings. But you can see here how I've got the breakdown 15 and 15. We're right on the target here. 
um, just a little under here at 14.9 and 15 on the intermediates. Uh, short terms here at 14 and 13 respectively. Um, and then down the line here, these are custom. You can adjust these however you want. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. The idea here is just to introduce capital to each of these Vanguard um, ETFs. And I, and I really like investing this way. They, they have done really well for me in the past. And um, I, I really shouldn't have sold. Uh, I probably sold during uh, banana market crazy times and, and decided to raise some capital and, and take some profit. Uh, prop, wish I wouldn't have done that. And, and the, the older I get, the, the less selling or liquidating I do and the more accumulating of assets that I do, um, which I think this is indicative of that uh, strategy. Um, and I like it. I, I think it's great. I think it's prudent for a lot of investors. I think it would cost you nothing to go ahead and add a bond element to the portfolio. It would cost you zero. Um, and you could keep it um, in check with the amount of funding that you make to the portfolio. In other words, you might set a portfolio goal of you know $10,000 in this, and it may take you 10, 20 years to get there. No problem, right? It's not hurting you. This doesn't hurt me. I don't lose sleep over this. Um, I invest in the bond market, and I've got a little allocation to fixed income, and that's great. I've got a drop point um, to build on as I approach uh, later years in life. And, you know, it's really, really important um, to have that element of the por portfolio as opposed to not having it in the portfolio. So I do share this openly. I will drop this in the comments section as well uh, to make it more accessible to you guys. Um, this does a, a couple of things. It introduces you to how I seek some fixed income and in M1 finance. Again, this is something that I do not showcase very often um, and also to showcase the uh, aesthetics and, and the capability of M1 Finance. That's, this fits perfectly with the passive niche uh, and the uh, passive investing approach that I take in the stock market. Um, I look to embolden this portfolio over time and we will and I will share that with the audience here as we grow this fixed income portfolio and hope for better times because as of late I've just been absolutely slaughtered, but uh, we live to fight another day, uh, and uh, good on me for coming on and, and sharing, even uh, during bad times, what it can look like, um, and, and more importantly, what we expect to uh, transpire going into the future uh, in a small portfolio like this as we continue to fund uh, and look for better days on the horizon. Guys, I appreciate it. We'll kick you back, and we'll conclude the video. So guys, we've come out of the M1 Finance comprised of the fixed income piece. Um, this is an interesting way of seeking the 3%. This is a nice hedge or buffer against inflation. Uh, within my total portfolio, I'm looking to build this up to some sizable wealth. I just started uh, the portfolio. I've had it less than a year. Uh, so it'll be interesting to chronicle the performance. Obviously, uh, it's come off of a little bit with the uh, recent volatility in the market. The interest rates have kind of gone bananas in this. So it'll be interesting to build this account up, see it, how it performs over time. If you appreciate information like this, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Hit the notification bell for me and share the message. With those folks out there looking to get intermediate uh, introductory information to the stock market, if you think that they would appreciate the information. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video, and good luck in your investment future.